Number 28. A powerful motorcycle can accelerate from rest to 26.8 meters per second in only 3.9 seconds. What is its average acceleration? All right, so let's draw a quick sketch. Here's the motorcycle, we'll just represent it as a dot. And it's going to start, as it said, at rest. So the initial velocity is zero meters per second. And it says eventually it's going to reach a velocity of 26.8. Okay, so right at this point, at the end of the problem, it reaches a final velocity of 26.8 meters per second. And the time in which it took to go from 0 to 26.8 was 3.90 seconds. Okay, and now the question is asking, what is its average acceleration? So we're trying to find the acceleration. So what I want to do now is I want to look to find if I know an equation that relates all four of these variables. Initial velocity, time, final velocity, and acceleration. So take a look on the upper right-hand corner. And which formula do you think? And it looks like it's going to be the first one, right? So let's write that down. So part A. So we've got final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration multiplied by time. So the final velocity here is 26.8. I'm going to leave out the units because I know that they're all consistent, meaning I have meters and meters and seconds and seconds. So I can just plug it all in. So the initial velocity here was zero. The acceleration is what I'm looking for, and my time value is now 3.90. So let's just simply now calculate. So this is going to be 3.90a, just reorganizing it a little bit, and then you've got to divide that out, right? 3.90. Okay, so the acceleration now should be take out your calculator. And it's going to be 26.8 divided by 3.9. So it comes out to 6.87. So 6.87, I'm going to have three significant figures in my answer. And this should be meters per second squared. Okay. I know that because my displacement value in the problem was meters. And the time value was in seconds. Okay, so that's part A. Let's take a look now at part B. It says how far does it travel in that time? So what they're asking here is, in terms of how far, they're asking us to find the displacement, or x. Okay, so now what we uh, would want to do is let's consider, do we know any formulas that involve, I would choose these three variables again, and this one. The reason why I'm not going to look for a formula that includes acceleration is because, well, maybe, um, maybe it might not be possible to do so, but maybe I made a mistake in my calculation here. And I don't want the mistake to propagate into part B. So um, I noticed that the uh, last formula here, right? Number uh, five, right? Essentially has all the pieces I need. So now this is part B. Let's rewrite the formula. So we've got the change in displacement is equal to one half times the initial velocity plus the final velocity multiplied by time. So let's just now plug in the values. The initial velocity was zero. My final velocity was 26.8. And the time again was 3.90 seconds. So now just doing the math, cleaning it up, it's going to be one half, obviously zero plus 26.8, 20, it would be 26.8, and times 3.90. Okay, so let's just take out the calculator now, and let's plug in these values. So we get 0 0.5 times 26.8 times 3.9, and that works out to a value of 52.26, but, I'm going to write down 52.3 because of significant figures. And this is in meters. Okay? This value has three sig figs. That value has three sig figs. Therefore, my answer has to have three sig figs. Okay, and that would be the uh, displacement. So that wraps up this problem. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. Until next time.